What's up, cousins? Anthony Jones with my 12-foot John Boat to Bass Boat conversion that I'm doing. Guys, this is chapter four on the build, and in this video, I'm gonna be installing these BroCraft Boat Transom launch wheels. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step installation as well as show you how they turned out and how they actually work on the boat. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Okay, here they are, guys. The BroCraft, if you could read that, BroCraft. So these are the BroCraft uh, transom mount boat launch wheels that I got off Amazon. These things look great. It came with the pins, the wires, the wheels. Um, I mean, everything looks really nicely constructed. The hardware even came with instructions. What more can you ask for? I am going to leave the link to these guys um, in the description of the video. I got them on Amazon and I'm actually very happy with uh with the result and i'll show you just how simple it is to take this mechanism apart you simply simply slide the pin out okay and then and then you're just going to push these two balls in and that releases this okay so it's real simple real quick and easy to take that apart you can even flip these up and remove them and, uh, and, and take them and store them in the boat if you're fishing, if you don't want them flipped up in, in that position when you're out on the water. And it'll lock into place. See that? I don't know if you can see, it's got that little, little ball on it. These are 12 inch tires. And then also this arm from the top point to about the bottom point, even though it's got that angle is 18 inches. That's your dimension. You can, you can actually move it up. Okay. So there's two mounting points for this. So you could go higher or lower depending on your setup um, to make it more of a universal fit. According to the product description on Amazon, these BroCraft wheels are rated for a weight capacity of 500 pounds. And in case you don't know, and I haven't said it before, these are going on this boat because this boat is actually going to go in the bed of my truck and it's going to be trailerless. Therefore, I need a transom mount wheel system to transport it to locations. So that's why I'm using these. The first thing I've got to do is I need to check my clearance with this motor. They're going to sit upright like this. And what I want to make sure what's going to happen is when this motor turns left to right, that they're not going to, this motor is not going to hit those wheels. One thing that I'm trying to take into account with these wheels and how they flip up, I have to remember I'm going to mount a transducer down here somewhere. And, and so I want to make sure I have clearance when this wheel flips up, but I also want to mount it far enough out to be away from the motor. I want to be able to mount these handles. Okay. Back on here to carry it in case, uh, in case I'm going down a, really rough embankment to like a river or something with two guys can carry the boat. So I'm just really trying to figure out how these are going to go on there and how I could fit everything. I'm using the hardware that was included with um, with the kit, it's got a stainless steel bolt with this head that actually sits flush inside that hole of that bracket. All right, so it's a perfect fit. Um, it's got the washer and the nylon locking nut, and these are inch and a half. I'm using this piece of one inch by one inch angled aluminum, okay, to stick in here and act as a spacer, one inch reveal from where this bracket starts. All right, top hole is drilled out, and I'm going to go ahead and drill out the bottom hole. I've got it marked, and uh, I just checked myself a lot measuring off here. I'm on the top and the bottom, make sure I had the same distance, and then making sure that bracket was exactly how I wanted it. Mocked up, perfect fit. Also, I just barely lucked out. If you go back to uh, the old transom build video number one, which would be chapter one, you'll remember the original transom in this boat only went to 10 inches and I lengthened this to 11 inches. I'm actually very glad I did because 
that uh that bottom bolt had wood to hit at 11 inches it definitely would not have hit any wood if i kept it at the original 10 inches that the previous transom was and kind of killing two birds with one stone these bolts that hold these uh launch wheel brackets in place actually go through the original aluminum and the new upgraded transom that i put in and so they're going to act as more uh, structural integrity to sandwich all this together okay just clean that up with sandpaper again one final time before i go ahead and bolt this in place when i bolt this in place i'm going to fill this with adhesive this with adhesive and then this hole and with that little hole there you could actually see the wood transom and it's it's uh tight against it but i'm going to go ahead and fill this up and then cut the perimeter in adhesive and stick it all in place and obviously the goal, if I do all this correctly, with all this sealant and bolting this together properly, will make it 100% watertight. All right, this one's all done. Sealant is around the perimeter, underneath it, inside the screw heads, on both sides, front and back. Man, that was messy, messy, messy. I'd recommend having lots of rags and gloves because that, that stuff just gets everywhere, cousins. But that's what you got to do to make sure that this thing's going to be 100% jam up jelly tight. Now I've just got to repeat the process on this other side. Motor's back on. I just want to show you with, with these in the upright position and installed. You can see here when the motor turns, got plenty of clearance. You've also got plenty of clearance there. And plenty of clearance on the other side. You want to uh, check all your measurements before you go drilling holes into your boat. And with this, guys, it's very, very simple. You simply put pressure on both sides. This flips down, it'll lock in the locking position, you just hit this, pull up, back up. Man, it's super easy. If you want to uh, remove them, all you do, do this, pull the pin, comes right off. Guys, I am pulling this with one hand with my Honda eight horsepower four stroke on the back down the driveway just to try it out. And honestly, this thing is a lot easier to pull with the motor in the back and having some weight. Very, very easy to move these wheels. Don't 
miss a video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future content as I document my 12-foot Jumbo to Bass Boat build.